their work, do you? Let me tell you something. On this street, eh, there are many influencers. They call themselves social media influencers. What are they influencing? They are influencing your mind. Even when you don't, you won't know. These influencers, right, they will open different uh, fake accounts on so many platforms. But you see, each of those accounts is meant to propagate a particular message and only that message only until it, it will discover its own audience. And in a synchronization like that, eh, you can actually initiate tribal war using social media by turning people against themselves. APC have done that many times. One guy know them better. And then uh, his name is uh, uh, the Dildo, Dildo Senator. Do you remember Dildo Senator? He knows APC very well. Again, listen. APC is a grand fraud. Expert liars. They, have first, they are first class propagandists. They thrive on propaganda. They have spent so much money on media to cover them up. Anyway, without stressing it, hmm? uh, where's that thing I wanted to show you earlier? Yoruba versus Igbo. This is the Igbo man. This is a Yoruba man. Listen to this story. Oh. <laughs> in Lagos, if you want to see where people in Nigeria have the highest inter-tribal and inter-ethnic marriages. Eh? You will find them in uh, Western, I'm sorry, you find them in Lagos, which is Yoruba land. You will find them in uh, Port Harcourt, which is uh, in the uh, south, uh, sorry, Niger Delta part of Nigeria. You will find them in areas like uh, Kano, then you will find these intermarriages in areas like uh, Enugu in eastern Nigeria. When you ask the older generation Nigerians, you see that of Lagos, intertriber, where somebody who is from Ogun State will marry somebody from Ekiti, somebody from uh, what do you call it? Somebody from uh, Ekiti will marry somebody from Oshun, a Jebu man will marry somebody from Kwara, then uh, somebody from Kwara. We cross over and marry somebody from Nasarawa. The one from Nasarawa may end up marrying an Igbo man or Igbo, Igbo man from uh, Enugu. Now, you see that Igbo man in Enugu as well, eh? from his own offspring, may end up uh, marrying a Yoruba man that they met when they were doing national youth service in Lagos. And one of the most successful marriages recorded in the time, well, in the recent time, or even in time immemorial, They've mostly been inter-tribal, inter-ethnic marriages. Honestly, people, when people start telling you the stories of uh, how what they face before they could convince their family that they are going to marry into marry into this tribe and the rest, and years later they are still together. That's exactly the examples of uh, the likes of uh, the governor of Oshun State. Okay, in your mama, the mother of the governor of Oshun State. Igbo woman, eh? Igbo young lady back then from uh, Oweri or somewhere in Imo State. I don't know if it's Oweri. He himself also went back uh, to the same Imo State to marry another, I mean, to marry his own wife. They have children oh, today. And this is not something people frowned at in Yoruba land. Okay? I mean, seriously. Yorubas will park cars. Who load cars because we are going for a marriage between uh, our brother from uh, Lagos who is marrying in Kechi, eh? in Kechi from one inner, inner, inner village in Olu. You get what I mean? I'm just saying that too. We are so used to that. Every weekend that you see weddings here and there, there are out of state weddings too. Ikoyi registry in Lagos. Eh, if you go there, you will see millions, not thousands, so millions of people who have passed through the registry in Lagos State that are actually not of the same tribe, yeah? 
same thing happened here. Tifunumbu, his wife, eh, who happened to be his wife, uh, Remy, his father is uh, Ishekiri, his mother is from Ogun State. She you get. She Yitinumbu, who also happened to be Tifunumbu's son. Well, she Yitinumbu, that makes it sense, right? Married uh, another Igbo girl. Beautiful, beautiful lady. I don't know if you have seen it. If you have seen her, very beautiful. And a lot of, there are so many examples, okay? However, APC, in Lagos, they are propagating a young man whose generation is uh, traced back to 200 years ago. A man who came from a family Eh? That used to be the landlord for the colonials, the colonialists in uh, Lagos in the 1880s. You know, means they have been there. Eh? And in one of their properties in Lagos Island, there was also leased to these British colonialists. That's this are uh, history that they know. They left all of that. And they are telling Yorubas to be scared of an Igbo man because one of the Vivos family, the Badebo family, also married uh, from outside Yoruba land. He married uh, Nkechi. I think she is Nkechi. Not sure. Don't quote me yet. The old woman has been enjoying a beautiful marriage. For years, she raised responsible children. The full-blooded Lagosian. Eh? Nobody told her that she was never, she was not wanted in Yoruba land. Nobody told her that she is from a tribe that nobody must do anything with. Nobody told her that her son will not be seen as Yoruba until now. When Tifnumbu and gang, same people that killed Funsha Williams, the true Omeiko, you know what they call Funshaw Williams? Eh? The real Omeiko. Because he's actually the real Lagosian. This young guy, eh? Two months ago, is nothing to them. It was actually a joker to them. I, uh, that one, when they talk about people, they talk about that one. Some old don't get in the second time, free of charge, no stress. That was what I was reading. Ladies and gentlemen, the level of uh, hate that I've actually seen on social media. I was just asking myself, wait, oh, is that Lagos State? I'll be a kitty. Even a kitty people will not be like this. Oh. Ah, what could have prompted this? Is the Okay, let me show you the guy. My name is Badi Boros Vivo. I'm an architect by profession and a politician by passion. In 2019, I was a PDP Centurial Lagos West candidate, spanning 10 local governments, all the way from Ikeja to Badagri, 112 wards. We had 243,000 people stand behind our mandate, and it was a very successful. I'm fairly treated in Lagos State. I will run an all-inclusive campaign that will excite all the people of Lagos to get behind us and push to create a new chapter in Lagos State, a chapter that centers the interests of every Lagosian not just a few, or those that are connected to Asiwa Jubola Metinubu. The most important quality of a leader is empathy. One of our most loved politicians, Funsha Williams, showed us that the politics of a gentleman, the politics of empathy, the politics of love, is what we need to energize our party. It's not gagra, it's not noise. Funsha Williams was approachable and loved by all. And we saw it in the numbers that he got during the elections. I need your support to make this dream a reality for myself, for you, for the people of Lagos. Let us not miss this. So that's what that's the guy they should be debating. Do you get that? When he, when the opportunity presented uh, itself for some way you could to face him, like one on one. Let's talk about your what you're doing and then what I want to do. Let's do it. Let's Lagosians actually see us. Some way he could believe in his godfather. And according to them, it is even an insult 
for this guy to be asking that they sh he wants to do a debate. Sonwulu doesn't need any debates. He's already won. So, then something happened. On the 25th of uh, December, I mean, on the 25th of uh, February, it actually shook them. And right now, instead of them to now kind of uh, look inward, eh, they are now doubling down. They are begging people publicly, publicly on one hand. They are threatening and intimidating them behind the scene on the other hand. All of these are being coordinated at, uh, coordinated at a go. Oh, he's also married to Igbo. Ah, so Igbo woman. Now nah, Igbo could come be our first lady. Never. Laye, laye. Eh? All you, um, all you, um, ale Yoruba, you don't know what you're about to do. You are going to open the door for the Igbos to take over Yoruba land. I mean, what, a, what, a, I mean, what, what, a, what a stupid statement to make, like for real. Which of them are they going to take? Which one? So they now went for his wife as well. Oh, his wife. What can we see about her? Oh, she's Igbo. Ah, his wife also supports uh, uh, NSAS. Ah, his wife also spoke about uh, the injustice of uh, IPOB. You know what the guy said about the IPOB? The guy said, the bad governance in Nigeria, discrimination and marginalization that people in Nigeria are suffering are the main contributor to people asking that they want to break away from Nigeria. And he believed that. And he is also right, true. So you get Nigeria has never been this divided. No thanks to APC. So they went for his wife. Like I said, eh? even though I am documenting this in the diary for the future references and all of that, yeah? Listen, I have never seen any vile people as uh, horrible as uh, Tifnumbu and those who are the purveyor of the Igbo versus Yoruba like now. Listen to the wife. They said the girl, I mean, the wife is defending the right of gay. Ah, she, they are going to turn our Lagos state to gay. Tifnumbu's daughter is gay, by the way, in case if you have to know. So if you want to start uh, killing them or burning them, you probably would need to take a, uh, you need to what? You need to get the address of uh, Kolu's daughter, the one that they bought uh, $2.5 million house for in America. Abi, she's a cure. Abi, what, what are they called? Yeah, cure or cure. She's gay. But again, listen to this brain. Vote for Badibo Roads Viver. <clears throat> I actually kind of, uh, I like her. I'll tell you something that uh, other area that the Tifnumbu, Sonweiku, APC, Agbiros, Lagos, Sabo, Baku's uh, style of politics are not paying attention to. You now have Gen Z on your hands. They can now participate in your elections. Not just participate. They are so smart. Yeah? That uh, APC, Egbekegbe is no longer appealing to them. You haven't noticed. That is the problem on your hands. Look at the guys like that. They appeal to the Gen Z. The Gen Z they have your voters card. And as I have seen, especially like we saw the last time, they are interested. For them being interested and their interest is not in you, that's actually a problem that some of you are not paying attention to. Okay, somebody send this to me. <laughs> Governor, the new governor of Lagos State, Lagos State, Lagos Island, the one we want, our choice. The new governor, the one we want, our own choice, go, 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 go. Uh, the one we want, the one we need for Lagos Island. Alone, I like it. Lagos Island. Alone. We are with you. Hello. Thank you, Post Abu. Hello. 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 
The one we want. The voice of people. The voice of people. The one we want. The one we want. The one we want. Yes. So that's Lagos Island. Now, what I'm trying to show to you here is this. No matter the picture that APC is trying to paint on social media, on WhatsApp, where they are sharing horrible, horrible, horrible stories that are not real. You see, when I checked that guy out, I realized that they did not see him coming. I mean, they could have contained him. I'll cut him off a while back. There is even a rumor. I didn't confirm that too. There is even a rumor that uh, he was offered 20 billion naira to drop this ambition. And he rejected that. You know something? Eh? Pressure tiwa. And that is why the likes of these guys, eh? I'm talking about this other guy from uh, Etiosa. That even after all these threats, they still beat them in Etiosa. What does that tell you? They say that uh, the generation of young, young people in that Etiosa, local government area, all those area, eh? If they are allowed to do what they want to do, APC no could get one person that will, that will actually thumbprint for them. So, what I'm trying to say here is this. If you are painting this threat picture out there, trying to turn Yoruba versus Igbo, do you know why it is not working as well? Eh? Because, you know, the Yorubas themselves are tired. Trust me. If they are given an opportunity, they will not wait to hang you and your party. I mean, tell me, if you send out this kind of threat to people and you still lose, what does that tell you? That the threats don't work? Intimidation don't? Even rigging can't help? A reminder. Please, we want you to be our friend. That is why we are making this call. As it is now, I'm going to ask a question. Who already had a PVC? Who has made a recapturing of his PVC and has not called Okay, let's start from who, who has it now. PVC, can you please put your hands up? Your PVC with you. You have a PVC. Let me see your hands. Even if you it's not here now, we are sure you are going to bring it. If you don't have it now, but you can bring it maybe tomorrow or just tomorrow. Okay, if you know you have a PVC, just raise your hand. I told you where the boy, where the boy. That did the boy. I'm not seeing your hands, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. Seven. People here, I am sure by the time we take numbers of our people here, we will not be less than 60. Just looking at it now, if I count everybody now, we will not be less than 60. So we have 20 people. Thank you. 20 people that has PVC. The rest, what is happening? Because we are ready to fight. No, yes, I'm not hiding it though. Me, I'm not hiding this. I'm not, I'm not going to talk on that anything. I'm going. I have to be blunt with you. I have, to, I have narrated everything for you. That in the continent, we have continent Africa. Out of that continent Africa, we have West Africa. In West Africa, we find Nigeria. In Nigeria, there is Lagos. In Lagos, there is Etiosa. Within Etiosa, we have Bara. And this is where it all Bara. And by the grace of God, for Bara today, we shall take our decision. The people that will be friends with us are the people that have their PVC, the people that will be doing business and making profit. You want to vote Labour Party? You want to vote PDP? Not be here. That is, you see, election has been coming and going. We have never known this kind of calling before. But this one is a directive. As I am talking to you, even by being a person is at stake. 
The status of my children is at stake. If you people fumble, and that is why I'm not going to look at it that way. I will not allow you to jeopardize my own future and the future of my own children. So, gentlemen, I don't know what you want to do because as it is we are here now, you have all failed. You have all failed and you are ready to battle with us. We are also ready. We are also ready. For the few, about five or ten of you that have the PVC that are putting here, we will identify you. The rest, you can no longer stay with us. I am sorry. You will do your needful. That's it. Go back to you. Thank you very much. Um, I greet uh, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you are welcome to this uh, very important uh, meeting. The meeting is important because it has to do with the life of Nigeria and Nigerians. It has to do with the life of Nigeria and Nigerians. How our country can be better off from what it is present. And as my brother has said, this is where I Lagos State. I know many of you come from different places. So Sheng Bowiri, and that's exactly the bullying that they are expecting to work. That didn't work for them. It didn't work. They had to rig. You know the original results from Lagos that uh, uh, I have seen, by the way, is uh, Kolu Tifnumbu didn't even see up to 155,000 votes in Lagos. You know they gave him 570 something, Abi. He didn't see up to 160,000 votes overall in Lagos. It was so bad that they were telling themselves inside the uh, Tifnubu's campaign uh, group that the uh, Labour Party must have rigged the election. Let us be honest. Even though they didn't share money, but they must have rigged the election. How did they get uh, 980,000 votes in Lagos? How? Despite everything we did, how did they do that? They rigged Amni, Joe. You don't know. They rigged Amni. So they are telling themselves that. Because when they saw the figure, APC, ruling government in Lagos, they didn't score 160,000 votes. So, which means, if they allow a lot of you to go out, even with the rigging and the rest, eh, they will probably won't see up to 200,000 as well. Do you, know, do, you, do you now know why you are making it difficult for them to think of how this rigging is going to be? So, definitely, it is going to be the worst you have ever seen. It's good. Shabi, you saw a weak case uh, rigging. Weak case rigging is shocking you, Abi. See what will happen in Lagos. You have shaken them. And somebody said, if they knew that this guy was going to be a problem, through you, the Gen Z, obedient in Lagos, they probably have done something about him. A lot of people are now saying that they should protect him more. Made the guy, made the no concert, the guy, uh, uh, the guy commit suicide, have anything, you know, because call you the dawn. If uh, by Friday, they realize that uh, all of the numbers are not numbering. All of the permutation are not permutating. Eh? All of the uh, rigging plan eh? are not uh, uh, coming together. Then the crisis may even start in the evening before the following day. I'm just saying. So they may tell you, my friend, it's not, it's not a threat to anybody because they want to tell themselves that. If it's not a threat, how come they are now mentioning Libo and not PDP? I mean, it's usually, it's, I mean, it's usually the PDP APC, Abi. There is coordinated, hateful attack on his person. And they are just going to stick to that. He is Igbo. Igbo is coming. Igbo hates Yorubas. Yorubas must be careful. Yorubas who are like uh, not supporting uh, uh, Sonwe Iku. Eh? Yorubas must. And then we'll, on the other hand, they will be saying that Yorubas who are angry with them should at least forgive them. Eh? So don't let Igbos take over your state. Oh. Don't let Igbos this and that oh, in a lie. Oh. What happened is that MC Olu Eron and his gang, they would have to leave Lagos. So when I asked you, I said, what will happen if uh, Son Weiku loses Lagos? What will happen? I can tell you, Phil. You see the following, I mean, the, 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 the next uh, two months after they have been defeated, 
they will finalize plan to do everything it's going to take to make sure that uh, that return uh, certificate of return, INEC uh, certificate, uh, Tiffany is not going to return it to anybody. No court is going to stop them. They will fight for all of that until inauguration, so that they can just get inaugurated and say, Mr. President, congratulations. The likes of MC Olu Eron and some of these uh, tout and thugs in Lagos, okay, the senior ones, they will relocate to Abuja. So they are going to actually pick up uh, different different locations in Abuja that they are going to start dominating. Maybe all of you think, say, when Fulanese, when uh, Bokwari became president, eh, the Fulanese, they took over Abuja. Abi, if you see Igbo man, he will dress like a Fulani. If you see a, a Yoruba man, he will dress like a Fulani because they have to look like them to get favor. This time around, all of Unago, they have to dress like a tout. Or oh, young Alaji. You know how this Alaji, briefcase Alaji, for your own, uh, to pursue your own also in Abuja. A lot of you are going to become, uh, you're going to become friends with MC Olu and all some of these thugs because they are going to be the people that, have, that will be hawking favor. It won't be Umaru, it won't be Usman anymore. It won't be uh, uh, all these guys from Daura anymore. They will be the guys from Lagos. All of you in Lagos, eh? you are going to breathe a sigh of relief. Like... <sighs> Adukbeo, they are gone, no. Oh. All of them are where they hawk. You will no longer see people chasing you. Where are they? Where are they? For some time. It will just be like, say something happened. Sure, you get like, or for share. What you back call, or for share. Because around that time, a lot of them will try to be, to be figuring out what they want to do. How they are going to cope. Okay. And this guy said he has planned for them anyway. That if you are not supposed to be a Agbero, Agbero is not something you should be proud of. There should be a better life for you than being an Agbero. Sure you get. So if you finally find their farms to take all of them to, to start farming and growing food to feed the rest of you in Lagos, they will leave all of you that they are extorting, bullying on the, on the, on the streets everywhere. But it's not going to be that easy too. You know what they said about uh, the Agberos in Lagos? These guys are making over... One trillion naira, one trillion in a year. Shebi, they say Lagos State is generating 50 billion. Agberos in Lagos are generating close to that too in Lagos State. And these Agberos, they have different, different, uh, what do you call They have different, different uh, sector of them unaccountable to anyone. They put the whole money together. Eh? Or more. So that means for the first time, Eh, Alpha Beta will no longer be collecting the tax for you in Lagos anymore. Your own uh, Lagos State uh, Inland Revenue Service, all of now where they employ to be working inside the Lagos Inland Revenue Service, you will be the one to collect the taxes from uh, everybody paying tax in Lagos. Every cover will come down to you, not Alpha Beta first. At least for the first time as well, all of you will understand what, exact, what exactly is the worth of economy of Lagos State when it comes to IGR and then uh, the usage of that same IGR. Abi, for the first time, a lot of us will have the real figure of what they are taking from Lagos State every month. Because none of those things they are taking is actually given to the Yorubas. You know that. So if you are screaming, shouting on social media, eh, you better go and get your PVC. Abi, to go and add to the number. Thuggery, rigging, May not be enough oh, because if you should lose, bene, that is when you realize that uh, this whole thing has nothing to do with Yoruba or Igbo. Because by the time you begin to want to say, ah, We're gonna fight, we're gonna fight when they capture you, and then you go realize hey, someone could give he doesn't give a damn about uh, Yoruba or Igbo or anybody, it is just their feeding bottle they are protecting. Sure, you get so if that should happen, everyone. We feel strange in Lagos. It was just going to be, it's going to feel so strange. Like, you know, so they say if you want to survive in Lagos, you must have a shoko, you must mad. Because now madness, that they take rough, that they take a cure madness. Not because they, not they do gentle, gentle in Lagos, you won't survive. Sure, you get. So now then everybody will start beginning to feel like, oh, more. sorry, oh, brother. I don't know if I am normal. Because I didn't see Agbero 
and conduct of fighting for the past two days. And I'm scared. There is something going on. Say no Agbero anymore. Agbero, okay. There's no Agbero. If they see any Agbero now, they don't build one camp for them for Ekwe. Yeah, Ekwe. Now they're at the farm. If they capture you as Agbero, you go end up in the farm where you'll be working, getting paid, producing food, being useful. No Agbero again, no. Eh, okay. I don't know. I, I just don't feel normal because I didn't hear all this. You know what I mean? But doesn't mean that it's going to disappear right away. There are still going to be chances. There are still going to what feel like a hey, by anchor. If I labor party, say, I labor party, no, the labor party, they feed me. Eh, make by the world come here. Now, I mean, come tell me, say, I know if you hold my base, there will still be those like that. So it's not going to be like just like that. But just the fact that they have lost all the threats and the bullying they have made against everybody, including Yorubas right now in Lagos State, eh, all these noisemakers they will first disappear. Do you know what they are saying? Apart from threatening people, intimidating people and bullying them, okay? They are saying that uh, one of the reasons why they have to save Lagos is that for the past 24 years, Lagos State has been in opposition. Now that Ashiwa Jua Wole, Ashiwa Jua Wongbewiri, and then Ashiwa Jua Wongbewiri, it's going to be the president of Nigeria. It will make sense now to make sure that uh, Lagos and the federal government, eh, they are not of different uh, parties. So this is the time for Lagos to enjoy the center. You know what somebody said when, uh, when uh, another person wrote that? Yeah? You know what another person said? He said, oh, Nikuri. This is going to be the eighth year since APC, Ebekebe, has been in government in Nigeria. The government put in place by Tifunumbu himself. How come for eight years, there is not even a single time, one time, that uh, a proposal was made to make Lagos State a special, to give uh, Lagos State a special status. The one that uh, will actually get the proper federal government attention that uh, befits a former federal capital. Abi, nobody be waiting to tell you when did the campaign be that. This is the eighth year. Nobody mentioned it for the past eight years. Now they are now telling people in Lagos, the only way for you to get special status is uh, to make sure that some way who comes back. So when, then I was like, okay, hang on, hang on. So if Tifnumbu wanted the special status for Lagos and APC, we have been uh, mounting it for long, right? Does it matter? And then now Tifnumbu will be the press idiot. Does it matter who is in charge of Lagos before Tifnumbu actually do that? For the Lagos in love, Abi. So if Tifnumbu and APC should do, should do say Lagos, they will make Lagos state ungovernable for whoever takes charge, Abi. Okay. That's interesting. Then we can now tell who is actually the enemy of Yorubas. That we use Yorubas as a bargaining chip. And if Yorubas fail to reciprocate that, it will be glad to punish us for not uh, being lawyer. Is that what it is? Anyway, there's so many things they are saying. Until uh, the uh, you know uh, the the plane landed in Lagos, and it was Kalu, the man who just won the World Cup, eh? In Lagos, let's go back. I mean, I'm still in Lagos. This is Kalu bringing back the trophy, the INEC certificates, the World Cup, and he's also back this time around to pull his weight uh, everywhere and make sure they don't lose Lagos. Whatever it's gonna take. I mean.
You know, that's the normal thing to do, okay? Uh, you take that trophy back and say, this is what I stole. Ah, it's so beautiful. Ah, give me a cuddle, give me a cuddle. Oh my God, is that, is that, oh, oh, are president. Ah, I can be, I'm a there. Ah, I want to it Eh, you robbed the whole country. And nobody chased you down here. Wow. Ah, I'm on what do you have to say? Out of 24 hours of reps, we got 21. Out of the three senators, we got all of them. They said they won Lagos, they win Lagos. Which Lagos did they win? Oba, I just had to cut it off. So that's why he said there, I'm sorry. And that is uh, the disaster, the calamity, yeah, that uh, is going to be your president. I don't, don't don't say that. Ah, it's going to return the mandate. Amen. Okay. It will return it. You will see. Supreme Court is going to see. Baba, calm down. Okay. Amen. I said amen. What do you want me to say? In Nigeria, be. Amen. Atifku decided to take his own fight to INEC. That, that, that thing where you give to Obola, Narigin, you have to give me that uh, certificate. You see? A lot of people wanted that certificate now. Obi was at the highest vote that wasn't declared. He's been to court now and he said he wants to challenge that. Atifku is also in court, but I neck. I don't like. Uh, you see, this thief is parading with uh, with all this uh, trophy and all of that. So they took over Abuja today. We no go agree. Oh, we no go agree. We no go agree. Oh, we no go agree. For declaring Kalu winner, we no go agree. On the street of Abuja, on a DSS, they guide them. Let's go there.
tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you. Ah! Now they never leave you. They have left you behind. Photo. Not be juju be that. Ah, sorry, you. Oh, sorry, you. Oh. May God not allow them to kill you. 70 years old, man. Oh. I am mumu I too much. You be mumu. Nigeria president now photo. Everybody go coast now photo with that. So you see our president is now photo with the video from the Africa from Canterbury. He is now photo with the Rogers. He is now photo with uh, this one. Now president now photo on our vote. The president is now a picture. Photo. Not be juju be that. Not be when our father died for a job and we they care for them. Keep them for house. They poor like Bishop. You will say that prayer. And say it. We have got the opportunity to serve again for additional four years. And Nigerians will know the difference. Yeah, yeah. Atifku no go gri oh he no go gri. Atifku don't win he no go gri. It do, do, does that even make any sense? We no go gri oh we no go gri. We will not agree because Atifku has won, so we will not agree. Instead of them to say we no go gri oh we no go gri. I neck for declaring Kalu winner. We no go gri. Hey, we no agree. We, we are not agreeing. So the declaration of Kalu as the winner, but. So nice, okay. It's part of the diary tonight, okay. In that same Abuja, right in front of uh, the gate of high neck, high, high neck. Yeah, let's go back there. Sorry, guys. Uh, where? <laughs> That is a block shot, oh. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my That is bad. If I'm not good enough. Okoye is a liar. Okoye, you're a liar. No, not Okoye. I'm not going to eat your food.
I mean, I don't really understand what that is, but they did to show their displeasure over the rigged elections. Okay? Even Atifku's, Atifku's daughter was out. She is in a shiri shiri. Eh? Ask her, why did you come out to come and join this protest for, with your daddy? Why? Of February to go and exercise my civic duty and my right to vote for a candidate that I want. I next came out with the Electoral Act in 2022 and mandated several things from the polling unit all the way to the coalition center. And they bypassed all those laws and they expect me to accept a result that was sitting down and written. And written while well, our polling unit results not updated to the portal. Eight days later, they are announcing results left, right, and center. We are not fools. India has a, 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 a population of over a billion people. When election cycle comes, they go to the polls and the elections are credible. Only 24 million people voted in Nigeria, according to INEC. And we cannot get credible elections. We don't agree. We do not agree. They must give us our mandate. They must come out and show Nigerians the true picture of what happened on the 25th of February, 2023. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm very angry. I'm a Nigerian. She's angry. You know what I mean? I mean, like everyone else, okay, that feels cheated. She was there, like, you know, I voted. They didn't count my vote. Just like uh, some cleric came out and said, well, you know, what happened was that uh, some people are saying that uh, we collected 10, 10 million naira from APC in Kaduna as a cleric. To support, uh, who to support, uh, and rig election, what have you for call Muslim, Muslim ticket, and all that. And they said the guy quickly corrected himself, like, no, sorry, quickly, like, passed it on, like, mm -mm. he didn't, he didn't dwell much on it. But people, the congregation heard him, like, oh, 10, 10 million. Wow. How much you collected with that to bring call in? Really? Anyway, I've got one or two. In fact, there's actually one of them. Okay. You see, northern politicians are hypocrites. Okay. Very, very, very hypocritical. I mean, hypocritical. In northern Nigeria, okay, an average northerner will be screaming, Sharia, Sharia. Sharia, Sharia. Don't try that nonsense with Sharia, Sharia. If you are not married and you are caught uh, sleeping with uh, yourselves and you are not married, Mm? They will punish the woman more. But the man, mm, maybe not. That's their Sharia. Uh, their Sharia says, alcohol is haram. Okay? So every now and then, you will see them jubilating, celebrating destruction of their people's businesses. Alcoholic drinks. Even though at the national level, they are always receiving what... Uh, they give to them from the taxes collected from uh, alcohol. They still take the money. But they are hypocrites. They are politicians, though. And the people themselves who actually follow and believe they are politicians. They're not all of them, okay? Please. Now, you see the politicians. They are the most horrible humans that you should, by no means, associate them with religion. Not with Islam, not with any religion at all. They are the highest fornicators. Majority of them will condemn gays in the open. Ah, you are gay. Stone him to death. But may, some of it, they are politicians up north. These are closet, what do you call it? LGBT, no, there's a name for it. They are closet. Bisexuals, as they are sleeping with us, men are sleeping with men, eh? Like close behind the door, hypocrite. 
There is a particular one that was caught, married, politician, former governor. He was caught in an hotel with young girls. I'm talking about girls who are like teenagers, right? Well, they recorded him and they put that on their social media. The story is that uh, up north, they are not really enraged. In fact, the anger is against those who released the video, trying to tarnish the image of an honorable man. He didn't commit any harm. In that same northern Nigeria, eh, where ordinarily stealing should be haram, Abi, in Islam, it should be haram to steal, take what is not yours, Abi. Publicly, the whole world saw a video of their governor. That is uh, Gandola of Kano, the Babariga mobile banking CEO of Kano. He was caught on camera, taking bribe and dipping them inside uh, his Babariga Agbada. Do you know what happened? Hmm? The judge and the, uh, their security in, uh, not in Kano, they didn't arrest him. In fact, they declared the person that released the video wanted for committing a crime, trying to tarnish the image of an honorable man. So I saw a cleric that is campaigning for one of the, those uh, uh, rapists and all that. I didn't know what he said, but who said? This guy is campaigning for somebody who happened to be a racist. I'm mean, sorry, uh, sorry, not racist too. Came out here and so gone. Rapist. So, uh, a serial rapist. That, uh, you know, this particular person that this man is campaigning for, this clerical. Yeah? They say, if in, in the, I mean, people who know him very well, they always hide their children, not just girls, so, including boys. But, Baba, if these people say no be haram, since, you, uh, since uh, rich people, Eh? The laws are not made for them. Eh? How much of all those other lies they've told you that you believe them? Because it's not Ram. It's not Ram, Mujari. He don't call you to the car that the doozy. She does a sub of the sa kerchi to the Allah. Why you have worry? I don't know if you can give you the car out and come to you with that old man. The Muslim is a kitchen. I am Muslim, Muslim, second Allah, but a bottom Muslim. To none of them, my hackers are queen Muslim, Muslim, Ajara Kaduna. قَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ آيَةٌ فِي فِئَتَيْنِ الْتَقَتَا نعم فِئَةٌ تُقَاتِلُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَأُخْرَى كَافِرَةٌ مهم. وَأُخْرَى كَافِرَةٌ يَرَوْنَهُمْ مِثْلَيْهِمْ رَأِيَ الْعَيْنِ والله يؤيد سيارة الله يتشيد تكم متى نيبي يكون غاية الله يا بغا مكم السالي Babi irin koma jin da kafarin kasar nan musiba sai mun nuna muku ba ku isa ba su ba suna maganar jami'ar siyasa bane sam suna maganar musulunci sai an gabayan shi so wanda kuka tsaya aiwa nawa ne kai ba kauye ne mu maganar da muke yi ba ta yan takara bane addinin mu ne aka ce za a yake shi to sai mu tsaya mu karo saboda haka ku tsaya ku maimaita wannan muslim muslim din kuma ku taimaki musulmin taraba Allah ya ba su nasara da duk inda kafirai suka ya suka za suka zare ma'aluma annabi takobi sai fada da shi musulunci ba a yakan shi ai za ku sha wahala ne kawai domin abu ne daga ubangiji kar ku je a ba ku wani kudi ko indomi ko kwalin bula ko sai da an tiki tiki yau indomi wake ce indomi indomi ko indo yu so be very careful ku je ku yi voting wisely kar ki abin da Allah zai tambaye ki ki je ki tabbatar da musulmi da musulmin shine haƙiƙa nan adalci masu zuwa suna ma'ainin kafiran Kaduna campaign za mu maida muku haƙin ku haƙin ku shine su kashe musulmi a gonin gora ko shine haƙin za ku maida musu su ma mu yi ma'aikatu in me ci gona ya bata muku rai to musulunci ne bata muku rai kar mu zaman to marasa tunani ki yi abin da Allah zai tambaye ki ki kasa bashi amsa Allah muku albarka Allah sa ku dace and they actually those guys have influence so yeah it's like that they do have influence I mean, people listen to them. They believe whatever they say. And they throw, they throw the word kafirin, kafirin. You know who they call the kaf kafirin? Unbelievers. If you are not a Muslim, you are an unbeliever. And in their book, you are an infidel. It is, it is an horrible word to describe all unbelievers by these fanatics. 
if you are not an Islamic uh, believer, even see if you are corrupt, if you are a murderer, if you are if you are evil, and the world knows. According to these fanatics, eh? If you are a Muslim, mm, you have uh, what is called a jannah because Allah will watch your din. What are the dins? You can loot the public fund and then turn yourself to a philanthropist who pay for people's hospital bills, school fees, share you get, or give them money to feed, even though you stole the money from them. In the face of Allah, you are a giver. That is a thing. He will forgive all of your sins. Anything else you are doing wrong, okay? He will forgive it. You are better than an infidel, somebody who is not, an, uh, who is not a Muslim, that is so clean and so righteous, doing things normally. No, 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 no. Whatever he's doing, it's not acceptable in the face of Allah. Do you understand? 